Well, we're here at the Smash Garage and I just thought I'd, I'd show you guys a mod that I've done to my NS Pajero. Um, it's a Gen 4 2008 Pajero. Um, yeah, I, I had a look at, it's got a rear fog light and we don't really get fog around here, um, never actually, so I figured I'd put that, that light to use and make it into a rear work light so when I'm towing trailers and stuff I can have a light that I can switch on at any time or if I need a bit more reversing light I can just quickly whack it on um, and that way yeah I can see a bit more behind me. So I had a bit of a think and I came up with this idea. I've already done it, I did it a while ago but I just thought I'd, I'd show you guys because it's quite quite a popular question what can we do for rear lights, a lot of people put them off the top of this holder here or here or both sometimes and um, yeah I just thought I'd give you guys an insight of what actually what's behind this um, and that way you guys can decide whether you want to do what I did which may or may not be legal in your area um, if you've got fog don't recommend it just use a fog light but yeah this one's actually switched over here it's this little button there so I can turn it on or off whenever I want. I don't have to run wiring or anything like that. It's an LED light, so it doesn't draw more than the original um, globe did anyway. So yeah, that's what I got. What I did was I went and bought myself one of these. Looks pretty familiar, must be some kind of generic LED light. I bought mine off eBay, but I know they're available from super cheap and the lights for like 25, 30 bucks. Paid a lot less for that on eBay, but this is the original light that it replaces, so you can see the size is pretty pretty similar, pretty similar in size. So how you get this off is um, there's two little two little covers here. You can see the covers like this. They come off, and you can see there this one and this one. There's two long bolts. They look Two long bolts that look like this. They're a um, 21 mil socket. Once those two are off, just pull this lightly. So if you were to do some aftermarket um, lights, just small ones, you could very easily make a little tab that bolts in using this bit up here. Probably a point. You maybe grab off both points here. And then you can make a little bracket very easily. The brackets for this, this is a nice, decent pipe. You can see the thickness of it here. It's pretty large. Um, it's got one at the bottom too, so you could potentially go straight up between the two. There's lots of options and it's um, yeah, nice and beefy. So you could very easily put two little 10 watts. Yeah, all I did was drill a hole, get a, get a little 10 mil bolt, drilled a hole through this at, a, at just the right angle. Um, it is at a little bit of an angle just to get the light to be in the <clears throat> just right position that I needed and Yeah, just bolted it straight through and I've gone and cut the original plug here So that's the original plug from the fog light. I've just soldered it in There to make sure it's nice and Yeah, that just sits neatly up there and On the outside You can see that um It just fits just nicely in that spot. I reckon and um, I had actually from my bull bone install I had a little bit of one of the old flares the front of the old flares left over so all I did was cut a piece out of that but you could cover it with any bit of plastic black or you could color code it if you want to but it's just what I had lying around so all I did was stick a flex a piece of that in the back it's got a little like section there about this thin that you can actually just sit something down in there so it sits and stays real easy for you to glue it on but yeah that's my that's my install of a little ruler. As you can see, it's a pretty bright little lot. Um, yeah, you can actually see right to my shed quite clearly. And that's almost 20 meters away from where we are now. So this little area here is about 10 meters by 6 meters. And you can see that. Um, yeah, it's a nice bright light. Covers us there pretty easily actually. Um, I can park right out my driveway and still light up the shed pretty easy. But yeah. Thanks for watching the channel. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching 
and yeah stick around and we've got some really exciting things to happen in the future got some exhaust mods to the magna and i've also got the full lift kit installed on the pajero and keep a lookout for that soon